Good evening, YouTubers and internet fiends, Woofford fiends. To well, tomorrow is the big day because we're uh, heading out. You know, something that I want to do to the van, I just seen it on a video that I want to do now is I want to change my idler pulley in the front of my van. I thought it was uh, my all-wheel drive uh, that was making it whine like Ree! But I think it may be the idler pulley. That's where I'm getting a lot of uh, comments at. So they're only like 14 bucks at AutoZone or something like that. I can do that myself. It's right up underneath the alternator. So I'm going to attempt to do that. And get that taken care of and you know who who knows it may help you know uh, you know with uh, a lot of other things uh, vibrations and things like that now since I changed my PCB valve I haven't had any trouble hardly with a uh, little bit of vibration uh, so I think uh, I think that worked but I want to uh, change that idler pulley, you know, and plus it's just one more thing that is going to be changed on the van that we won't have to change later. So, uh, I want to try to come up with the money so I can put a new starter on here and uh, hopefully soon put a new fuel pump in as well. That way uh, my uh, little van project will work out great. I talked to some van people today, uh, not van lifers, but um, they uh, actually told me I could come down and check out, you know, the vans and see how their 4x4 uh, system works and things like that. So maybe that's a good idea to try to uh, find a transfer case from a junkyard and put a 4x4 system in here instead of the all-wheel drive but the thing with the 4x4 system is you can't drive with it all the time because 4x4 is only meant for you know to be driven in straight lines and you know it's not going to give me as good of a traction on snow and all that other stuff so I think that all-wheel drive is actually going to be better I just want to get me some bigger tires and be done with it. Shelly's a little bit depressed, uh, you know, uh, but hey, it's going to be fine, Shelly. So, you know, uh, we've, uh, we've got some things to do. We've got some things to do, definitely. Uh, anyway, guys, wish us luck on our trip tomorrow. I gotta stop by uh, a mechanic shop and let them uh, check my vehicle, make sure that it's uh, in running order, and make sure that uh, everything's in place before I hit the road. And that's about it. I guess you'll see. Uh Billy down there napping by the heater. He's awful comfortable down there, isn't he? We keep him so full now, he don't even eat uh, his full proportion of food. We try to keep this blanket up back here so we can keep the heat back here and uh, stay comfortable. I wish that we could find some place to put these air conditioning shelling until uh, winter's up, so we'll have That's more like room. That's like on that tote back there. Put them in the tote. There. That's a good idea. Good thing is, at least it's not uh, snowing anymore. Uh. It's still cold, but it's not snowing. So that's a good thing, because I don't want to drive all the way. To Utah and Colorado in all snow. Now I am going to spend a day or two in Colorado, uh, 
you know, to try to meet more van lifers and also check out some trails. So, while I'm recording in Colorado, guys, and all the other places, you guys check out our videos because it's going to be some awesome kick butt videos.